Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today marks my final review of the Lexi Hotel's Songwriter Showcase, hosted by Hal Savar. That's right, kiddos. Due to circumstances beyond our control, Lexi will no longer be hosting the showcase. You can still catch the monthly showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue every third Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Though, uh, if you subscribe and ring the bell or follow at Room6LV on Twitch, you'll get notified when the live stream for that event starts. Now then, let's see if we can send this one out with a bang. Turn up the bang! This video is brought to you by Dog.com. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. As a reminder, I've put the social media handles for each act mentioned in this video down in the description. Make sure you find out where they're playing so you can catch them live. Also, if you'd like to be featured on Room 6, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link that's down there as well. Every act you'll see in this video either has, or will be, interviewed by yours truly, so you'll be in good company. What else? Oh yeah! Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It really does make a difference, and I appreciate you all. Now then, on to the review! Once again, things got kicked off by our host, Hal Savar. Hal's performing his first ticketed event on Saturday, August 5th, at the Firelight Barn on Boulder Highway. It'll be a good time, so swing by and tell him Room 6 sent you. Hal and I have been collaborating for over a year now on these showcases, and it still amazes me how easily he grabs an audience's attention with his music. Every song has a bit of backstory and a catchy earworm of a hook that has people singing the song in their head every time they hear his name. Up next was the newly named Temporary Secretary, made up of Fabian de Armas and Amiel. With Fabian on guitar and Amiel on ukulele, these two songwriters are quickly establishing themselves as a talented duo. Their playing matched their vocals with a wonderful harmony and occasional counterpoint where Hal's music is full of powerhouse vocals and passionate guitar playing. This act's sound is a little more subtle and sweeter, drawing the listener in. I hope we'll see them on the Soul Belly stage soon because they deserve a bigger stage and a bigger crowd. A showcase favorite was next in the form of Aubrey Digital. Playing music off of her album Hello World, which I've reviewed on the channel in a separate video, Aubrey is an old hand at impressing crowds with her combination of rapid-fire guitar picking and vocals that are a nice blend of spoken and sung clever wordplay. If you haven't seen her live, you owe it to yourself to rectify that soon. Jeremy Lucan was up next, better known as Opossum from the band Trash Animals, another act that I've reviewed here on the channel. They'll be performing August 6th at Red Wharf Tiki Bar. This was Germs' first time on the Lexi stage, so it made sense that he'd break out some new music. Utilizing an acoustic guitar with a pedal board full of effects, a loop station, and a drum track, he was a one-man band as his music blended some unconventional chord phrasing and sound changes into a unique and enjoyable melange of audio quality. I've seen Opossum with a band and solo, and I honestly enjoyed both equally as much. Hitting the stage next for the first time at any of Howl's showcases was Masters of Resonance, the band that seeks to answer the question, what if Linkin Park and a ska band had a baby? Comprised of a keyboard, new metal vocals, and a trombone, their sound took us all by pleasant surprise. Upbeat rhythms and quirky vocals were punctuated by alternating singing and metal screaming, and somehow it all just worked. This act is a hoot to watch and to hear, and I hope we'll see them again soon. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Today's sponsor spot has a special guest. Meet Chloe. She's a bit of a diva, but we tolerate her, and she tolerates us. But taking care of this little monster can get expensive, which is where Dog.com comes in. Dog.com is your online dog supplies shopping and information destination. Founded in 1969 as the parent company to a wide variety of pet-related websites, Dog.com provides a broad range competitively priced pet supplies, as well as community forums and partnerships with several national and local rescue and adoption facilities. Just for watching this video today, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your entire order. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Say bye!
Thanks to Dog.com for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. She's never this quiet. Taking the stage next was Mandolin, one-fourth of the amazing band The Maybe Four. Playing both guitar and hand drums in the band, Manda's a solid songwriter. For this set, she crafted beautiful songs on her guitar full of emotion and passion, and sometimes just a touch of self-deprecating humor. Whether alone or with the band, her voice soars over her music, and it's just a treat to watch her play. Joey Hines was up next, another member of the Maybe Four. We're up to one half of the band. Joey was joined on stage by Mandolin on hand drum and by guitarist for the Maybe Four, Russell Christian. Another capable songwriter, Joey's music adds a, a little bit of quirky wordplay to the equation. Just like Mandolin and the rest of the band, he's a multi-instrumentalist that bounces between guitar and bass. For this set, he stuck to his guitar. Joey's not afraid to sing songs that make you think. He's also not afraid to make you wonder what he's thinking. Either way, his music is just like him. A little quirky, full of talent, and loads of fun. Finishing out the night was Spencer Hinton, front person for the amazingly ethereal band Kook. Spencer's that rare songwriter whose voice is an extension of their instrument versus the other way around. Whether flying solo or with the band, their songs are passionate and flowing, yet filled with an almost punk-inspired energy. My favorite moment of the set was watching the faces of those in the audience who had never heard Spencer perform. I still feel the same awe, joy, and wonder that was on their faces every time I hear them play. Overall, the last showcase at the Lexi Hotel was one for the books. If you couldn't be there in person, I've put the link for the live stream of this event down in the description. I think you'll enjoy it, and I hope we'll see you at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on August 20th at Soul Belly Barbecue for the next showcase. Whether in person or consider jumping on the live stream. See you then. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that we will see you next time at Soul Belly Barbecue on August 20th, the third Sunday of the month, if either in person or on the live stream. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there. You know the drill. Ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.